Well, welcome back, folks. Here we are, back in Project Zomboid. So, like I had said, I uh, went ahead and we were sorting through some stuff, sat down, read some books. As you can see, my skills have gone up a little bit here from a cooking program, farming program. I think there was a carpentry and then a, a fishing program as well that happened. And uh, I sat down and read the farming, electrical, mechanics, fishing books that I had, and all that good jazz. So. We're basically ready to go. I also grabbed some essentials, some ripped sheets, water bottles, a pen, some cereal, bags are empty, and uh, all that. So I also took a screenshot of the books that we have. So if we come across more, we don't you know, grab duplicates because that would be just a waste of space and uh, some weight. So <clears throat> I think what we want to do is we could take the vehicle uh, and go around, do stuff, but I think we'll go explore these two locations just up north. We don't have to actually do anything special there. But you know what? I think I might close my door, actually. Hold on. Fuck. Also, I tried to cook all the frozen food, and uh, I hit the, the three... Fast forwards, and I sort of burnt everything actually. So, ooh. Well, I will go ahead and just take that right now. Metalworking Magazine Volume 2. Check the mailboxes, folks. All right. So, we have a Portman Medical. That sounds good. We still haven't seen many zombies. I've also noticed that the bottom of the house was dark. I did turn it off. Um after we had gone there. That's a weapon. I'll take the empty bottle as well. Okay. Let's see if we're open here. Nope. Okay. How about this door? The window. I mean. No. Okay. Let's check these two windows here, and if these aren't open, we'll smash one. Oh, there we go. Okay. in this desk or is this just a random wooden desk that has nothing in it nothing in it it seems like get rid of the second floor i don't want to go up there quite yet paper cigarettes paper clip i don't think i need sheets of paper we're not going to grab those i will take the glue however very nice to have. Take another red pen. Why not? Leave through here. All right, next. Ideally, I'd like to find some medical supplies, alcohol wipes, and stuff. That's all fine with me. Go ahead and grab all that. Oh, perfect. Disinfectant, painkillers, antidepressants. That's great. I, I don't know really how to get rid of the agitated status we have here, but it's fine now, I guess. Ooh, here we go. Any books? Oh, first aid volume one. Did we already have that? We did not. We had volume two. Let's grab that then. Uh, more things here. I don't think I need the hospital bound. Can I rip it up? I can. I don't know if there's any benefit to having the hospital gown kind of stuff, so that. Surgical gloves say that they're first aid related. I think I can wear them because I don't think I have anything that's, you know. Get that there, I'll just grab all that. Perfect. Last shelf here. We'll be taking all of this as well. And then we have this metal locker down here. Sleeping tablets helps in getting to sleep. Useful when anxious or in pain. That's perfect. We get into pain because we get like a couple scratches or something that's going to be really helpful. All right, perfect. We got a lot of nice stuff here. All right. So that building basically cleared out. Um, I guess I could create a plus on the map to indicate what that is. Let's just turn that to health so I have more vision here. Alright, 
we're gonna head to this place next. I know what it is. gas can of some sort I could try and siphon some gas but a ATM right there plastic bag a tire I don't really need a I will grab a plastic bag though might be able to use that for something. Can I get in this one? No. Oh, I can't search there. Things here. All right, let's check this place out. Start by the garbage can out front. Who knows what goodies we'll find in there? Garbage bag. We can use that uh, to make some stuff. Almost okay. Do anything with this window? No. Do anything with this ATM? No. Okay, do they have any windows that I can, like, open? Or is there, like, a back door? There's a taxi there. Looks like it's all just smashed the window, huh? There might be a door right there. Definitely a zombie in there. I can do my job for me. Can I just assemble it? No. Shame. Would be, would be great if I could. You see the door? Door getting jostled. break that down. Let's check out this taxi. Anything in the seats? Nope. We have the taxi key. That's great. I'll take that. We have some paper clips and the pen. All right, let's hop out. What about the trunk? A uh, tote bag. I don't know if I had anything in it, but I think it might be better than my something here. Grab that stuff. Excellent. Let's check the gas on this boy. Have some gas. I think it's actually functional. We could take it and take it back to the house. It's like a secondary car if we needed one. That's a sturdy door. I don't think we're gonna get through there. Let's let's break a window. Digital watch, nonsense. Yeah, I'm not gonna need any of that. Currently, we got a bunch of canned foods. That's great. I'll put those in the shopping bags. That way, I can kind of. You know, we're shopping, right? Actually, maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I should equip the other bag first. Hold on. Let's put these back into the other container. Into the duffel bag, then I'll see if I can equip that other one. So this gives me eight weight. How much does the other bag give me? As it is 12. Oh. Let's equip that into my secondary hand then. Instead of that one. Go ahead and put that in the duffel bag. Okay, perfect. Now I have a tote bag that I can use here. Search the rest of these shelves, get what I can. Oh, sacks. Oh, the rotten straw. There it is. Stale pears. Mm -hmm. 
it's less than ideal, but for what we can in the tote bag. I think I can use the burlap sacks for stuff, like transporting dirt, so if I just open up the sack of strawberries. Where did those go? Yeah, I don't care about the strawberries, I'm gonna put them back. I just want the there. Ooh, fresh potatoes. That is gonna be great. We can throw those in our fridge. We got some stale stuff here. I'll just take those. Since they're not rotten, at least they'll potentially give us some stuff here. Okay, that bag's full now, unfortunately. Still put some stuff into my inventory. We are going to get overweight here. Um, more stuff. Let's just grab these. Let's just clear out the back room, then we'll go to the uh, home here. Okay. I'll be back. I'm actually going to unlock this door. Okay. Let's head back home. We'll drop off the food we have. Um, hopefully we can come back here quick and grab anything else that's perishable. Throw it in the fridge so it'll last a while. That would be ideal. And remember, after two months in-game, these things will resupply, so... Good to have medical and food right next to us. Now we need to find a bookstore. We can speed up our learning process of various things, and... We also need to find a tool shop, or at least a shed, so we can get a hammer and start, like, deconstructing things. I could have took the tax, I don't know why I didn't. First things first, we're going to throw the produce that we got into here. There's my burnt stuff, as you can see. Into the fridge with you. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to open them so I can have the sacks and then we can for the rest of the stuff here. So, open sack of pears. We're gonna unpack all these. We still have a good stock of like non-perishable food though, with all the canned goods we have. So it's it's really. Um... Ooh, I'm, I'm taking damage now. Hold on. Okay, I was taking damage from being overweight. Crazy. What was the other stuff that I... I opened three things, didn't I? Hmm. These stale pears, they were going to increase my boredom and unhappiness, but they're still edible, which is great for us. Um, back of eggplants, let's go ahead and open that. And put them in here. We then have the leeks, lemon there. Okay, let's go up to our perishable or our non-perishable foods here. I don't think I can store anything else in here. Maybe a mint. Here we go. What about those sunflower seeds? Nope, too much now. Okay, I'm just gonna start putting stuff into this one then. Go. Take all these canned goods and put them into here too. At some point, we do need to start. We, we need to learn how to make storage containers so we can store more rather than have them go through this process. Right, now we just have this backpack so we can just take everything out. Store it in here. Ah, transferring stuff back and forth. I have the, uh... I thought I had that one stat that was like, oh, it takes longer to put stuff in and out. Uh, but whatever. Let's see. We have... I think there was more food in here, right? No? That's it? I thought I at least had more, like, backs of stuff. 
Oh, whatever. We're going to come back over here and put our first aid book... Oop. Put our first aid book in our bookshelf. That way it's there waiting for us when we come back. Um, we also have this metalworking magazine. And that's all there. Anything in here? Nope. All right. So the way I kind of sorted things was the food's down here. We have the books over there. Then upstairs we have what's our, our better stuff. Uh, or our other loot, basically. Um, so we have, say, our... We put the dirty rag in here. We have the sacks that are going to go into here. In our duffel bag. We're going to put the cigarettes in here. The duct tape. The empty bottle. This stuff. Put the lug wrench in here. I haven't really sorted this between... Uh, anything specific quite yet it's still just mostly uh random stuff that i found that i just want to store in here for now i'm gonna keep the scalpel with the medical supplies so basically all of my weapons my tools my uh materials and everything they're all in this cabinet here um and then all of my First aid supplies are in the bathroom back here. We have our first aid and household kind of stuff. We'll just select all of this over here. And we have, as you can see, a bunch of tweezers. I even have a plunger in here because it's household. But yeah, this, this particular cabinet here is household and first aid equipment. And then the other container right here is appearance and other household stuff like soap. So I think that's everything out of our inventory now. All right, so let's go downstairs. We'll eat some food and uh, refill our water bottle that we have. Okay, fill water bottle. I'm feeling a little sad. Mm. All right, so let's not eat the sale stuff. Let's go ahead and just eat the potato. I'll just eat all of the potato. See how that fixes me up. Perfect, that's all I needed to do. Oop, I don't wanna run. I mean, I could, I suppose there's not too many zombies around right now. We're still on the, the wee hours of the day uh, uh, after. So, we're going to head back. I think I might bring the taxi around. Um, it will make noise, but given how many zombies we've seen so far, I'm confident we can take them out before they get near us. So, oh boy. Then we'll have two working cars. Garbage bag, perfect, because we can make rain collectors with those, from my understanding. Um, money. I don't know if I need that. If I need it, I'll know it's here and I can come back. I'll take the stale stuff, just since, why not? It's food, and if I need to, I can eat it. Okay. Cash register those things. We have all these shelves, which are aluminum and flour, perfect. Uh, mustard peanut butter. Nice to get things that don't spoil. Here. Ooh, candy. Do you, do you think candy reduces your... I'm not going to grab any of the perishable stuff yet. I'll just hold off. Because I don't want to have it melting in my inventory, you know. More candy. Ooh, more canned goods. Perfect. Okay, we, we've got a decent amount of food now, so we won't be missing out on any surviving here. Cocoa powder. And a lane for it to just be there. It looks like I do back and front of the shelves here when I'm there. Alright. Let's go ahead and take out Pop. Let's grab the burrito and stuff. Yogurt. Ice cream. More ice cream. That'll be a nice little treat for us. 
All right, I think that's everything in this store. We've already checked the back room and everything. So let's uh, let's go to the taxi, and I'll see how to actually drive a car in this game. I actually do not know. All right, let's enter in. We can put the key in the ignition, and then I can. I think I hit N to start it. Okay, so it is like tank controls where. It's, it's local to the way the car is facing. I could also use, I guess, cars to block things off if I needed to. But for right now, we're just going to wheel this into here. Ooh, I almost hit my other car. That would have been bad. I'll just put it like this. Um, we hit N to turn it off get out. Is there anything else in the trunk of this? Oh, oh, what are you doing? He just started walking all of a sudden. Rubber band. I don't know if I need those, so... It's there, though. We need it. Alright, so let's drop off our loot, and then we'll determine where we're going next. We, of course, gotta get the frozen stuff into here ASAP. I think the frozen stuff was just that. Everything else was burrito, which was fresh, which we're just refrigerating. And anything else that said fresh? We had the grapes that are stale. I'll put them in here. Uh, the onion. Actually, come to think of it, I think I put stuff that actually does spoil, like goes stale and stuff, in not the fridge. So I'll have to recheck that. Anything else that looks like it spoils or anything? No, I think we're fine there. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. Let's uh, come back over to here. That's all fine. All fine. Where did I put my potatoes? Am I just blind? Am I blind, or did they, like, disappear? Huh? I had a bunch of potatoes, right? Oh, there they are. Yeah, I am just blind. Okay. Let's look at the ice cream. What does the ice cream do for me? Increases hunger and unhappiness. Oh, that would be great. Okay. Well, anyway. Go ahead and... We'll put away our other food and candy. Basically, I think everything here, so we'll just collect it all. I'm just gonna dump, and then the, the, the cupboard will be filled at some point. We'll move on to the next cupboard. We're a little hungry, so maybe I'll eat uh, some of the fresh stuff we got. I do want to say I'm saving that burnt stuff just in case we are, like, needing it or something. I'm not sure if it rots if I don't refrigerate it, but if it does rot, oh well. Use it as maybe some sort of stuff. I don't know. Okay, let's find an onion. We'll eat that. Eat a whole raw onion. Why not? Yeah, that took care of my hunger. Perfect. Let's dump the rest of our stuff here. I think it was just aluminum and a garbage bag. It is getting a little late, so maybe we'll just spend some time in our room until morning. And we do have that one book to read. Okay. Um, first of all, I'm going to grab a magazine or something out of here. Let's grab 15, 15, 20, 15. We'll grab one of these. We'll grab a, a word search. We'll, we'll do a word search downstairs. All right, so this is kind of what I was doing uh, prior to starting back up. Um, so we got the... It was First Aid Volume 1, right? Yeah, so let's grab that bad boy. And then also we got this metalworking magazine we had. 
Because what I was doing is I was turning on the TV. For the living in whatever video here. And I was sitting down on the ground. And we'll start with the metalworking magazine since it seems to be a little bit quicker than a full skill book. I would just speed up time a little bit. Finish. And I would start the next one. This way I'm in front of the TV if they're starting to talk about skills and stuff like that, right? So turn this on, we might see my skills increase as I'm in front of the TV. We'll just pass the night like this quick. They actually show me some programming. Here we go, see my boredom's going down because we're watching TV, which is also helpful. But uh, fortunately, these, these skill books, they don't do anything other than increase the multiplier at which you gain experience. They don't give experience. So the thing that would give experience is if I were to be watching a program where they're showing things like fishing or farming, for example, like we have here. Um, once we finish this book, we'll need to eat, and then go from there. I'm getting a little drowsy. We'll probably wait until I'm very hungry at the latest here. And we are done with the book. Perfect. All right, so now let's do the word search magazine. I think normally this would teach me about cooking since I'm talking about food, but I'm maxed out on cooking as far as I think I can get. So let's go grab some food. Oops, wrong closet. I like, moved my maps and stuff into that room. All right. Um, let's eat some yogurt. I'm just going to eat it all since we're kind of hungry. Switch back to my health and info. How are we looking in terms of weight? Pretty decent. We haven't really gained or lost any weight so far. Um, okay, what else do we got that's fresh? A burrito. I will eat. Let's just eat half. See how how much a burrito is gonna fill me up. Oh perfect. All the way. Nice. Also, I am carrying cereal, I know. Um, but that is because I want to use it to make metal containers. Perfect. I'm keeping that in case I need to eat, right? Like when I'm out and about. Because I want to stay topped off on that. But anyway, we will come back over to here, store our skill books. Just like that. Also, I forgot to refill the water bottle, but we'll just do that in the bathroom down here. You'll also notice I turned the lights off. Um, and I did that because I... I'm gonna have a little drink a little here while we're at it. I did that because I think the zombies can are also drawn to light. Not that there's been, you know, many zombies or anything, but but still. It's nice to be safe than sorry, as we've learned, right? I was also thinking before we had started up, the way I made everything kind of happen. Right, where I there, there's no grouping up of zombies. The zombies aren't like drawn to go group up anymore. Um, I was actually thinking if we do end up dying or something, I might change that so they do group up, but it's gonna be a super like mega horde, right? Like if they're gonna group up, it's gonna be one particular horde, and uh, they're gonna try to collect in one group rather than a bunch of smaller groups. What do we got here? Let's eat. I'm just a little peckish, so we'll just eat a potato. How about just half a potato? How about that? We'll see what, what happens here. Okay. I'll eat the rest of it. See if I can get that green glowing uh, buff over here. There we go. We're just feeling a little sad, but that's fine. Actually, close the door. Let's look at the map. 
I want to see how we are. I'm going to put a food marker down here. So we don't have any knowledge of anything that is uh, another important building anywhere here. That looks like it could be a tool shed right there. We might go over the fence, check out these two houses today, and uh, kind of expand the map outward a bit there. All right. Let's head on to it. And I could take a vehicle, but I don't want to really go loud when we don't have to, especially if we're not going very far. We haven't found a gas can, so I can't, you know, just siphon gas from things. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot. Well, that's fine. That's just a pair of legs right there. It is. They look, uh, very dead. Like, skeleton dead. Okay. I don't think you see anything in this guy's backyard. Go ahead and open up their door. Hm, they got some stuff on the floor already. That was a bit of a lag time there. Was this like a squatter's house or something? Must have been. Here's a beer bottle over here. Bourbon, nice. I did take a, some alcohol earlier. Ooh. Raise my happiness at one point. Is this kind of? Can I like. No, I can't destroy those. That's too bad. Nothing in the bathroom. What about back here where the kitchen was at? Oh, the saucepan can collect water. So can the kettle. I'll grab all that. Oop. Oop, too quick. Sorry about that. Alright. Here. We actually have some food, which is also great. Grab all that. Don't say no to free food, right? Okay, plate. We'll take the kitchen knife. That could be useful. The empty mug could collect water. Um, we'll keep the dish towel. I need a plate. Give you dinner. Pasta. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, we'll take all that. I think uh, the dried food is actually going to max out our weight here. Yeah, we can't carry any more there. So let's just put the pasta in our normal inventory. I mean, if only I had the little shopping bag with me, right? A couple of canned foods on the table here. Grab them. Just another way out. Okay, let's check up the top stairs. Hopefully we can find it, uh... Stuff? This is just going to be a little closet. Yep, there's nothing here. Okay. Um, we just found another sheet. That's great. I'm going to leave some of this. I'm not going to pick up this junk, but I'm going to take the sheet and the bandage. Piece of bandages. The soap I don't really care too much about. Okay. Denim suit. Red. How about we rip these clothes up? Ooh, a denim shirt is better than mine. Better than bite defense, crash defense. We'll wear this. I think. Yeah, that military ammo shirt. Not the greatest, huh? Okay. This house wouldn't have been a bad one to start fortifying, except for the fact that it doesn't have a bed. If it had a bed, it would be just ideal because then we could actually sleep in it. But, yeah. I feel like it's been raining for like two or three days straight. I'm just gonna climb this fence and we're gonna ignore the house, but we're gonna check the shed because like I said, we're, we're, we're getting up there and wait. I wanna make sure we... Uh... Oh, that scared me. He's just bashing his head against the window right now. Okay. Close the door after us. We don't want to cut unaware here. Ooh, the leather jacket's good. I'll take that and I'll um, put it on after I clean it and stuff. Just looking for some of those plus marks. Show it there better. 
But tire pump, that could come in handy. We're going to be really overweight here. A hard hat. Finally, we have a little bit of head protection. We're just going to be careful about over pressing the body. <gasps> a hammer. Perfect. Attached to the right belt. There we go. We also have a hand axe, rope, duct tape. Excellent. Okay. Perfect. We found, you know, kind of what we needed. We could still use a saw for certain things, but for now, I think we'll just head back home, drop off our stuff. Then we'll go back and investigate that last house we uh, kind of ignored there. Okay. Don't forget our shopping bag. The one bad thing about, you know, having a jump fence is that we don't have, um, grab the bag. Oops, secondary. Yo, all right. Yeah, the thing I'm saying is, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, having to jump over the fences sucks because then we drop our... Item in our hand there. All right, so we did have some extra food. We'll start by getting rid of that because that's a lot more uh, weighty for us. So, add the pasta, the canned stuff here. I'm gonna go ahead and just rip up this military green camo shirt. There we go. Okay, and then in our duffel bag, we had all of this. I think I'll actually just put everything kind of together. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Did I take the smoking skill? I did, I'm a smoker. So that's why I'm a little bit upset. For now, I'll just kind of push everything into... The containers, and then I'll, I guess I'll smoke a cigarette. I think I need something to light it with, though. Do I have matches? Hmm. Um, we're gonna take this. This is kind of my drawer that has what, utensils and spoons and stuff in it. Anything that's labeled cooking, I've been kind of sliding into here. Um, Alright, so the mac and cheese can go in here. The pepper and the pop can go into here. white wine can go in here. I don't think... I mean, the TV dinner, it doesn't say it's gonna rot, so I don't think I actually have to, like, keep it... you know... refrigerated. Neat. We'll just fill all of our stuff. And I can throw that into the, uh drawer here. Oops. Get a nice stock of water, which is really great for us. Oh, that drawer's filled. Okay. Go on to the next one, then. Okay. Nothing else to put away here. Not that I can see. I don't know if I should do anything with this tire pump. Like maybe put it in the trunk of my vehicle, but oh, my vehicle's trunk is damaged and I can't anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I need a saw in order to take down the chairs in order to get the carpenter stuff. There weren't any other windows or anything that I had that I could, like, do anything with, right? I can add the sheet to this one, finally! Perfect. And I can close the curtain. Alright, now my house is fully enclosed in darkness, because if we come into the, into the kitchen here, 
this is a solid door, so I don't have to pull it on that door out there. But now we have sheets covering everything. Except for the second floor, but they're not gonna the zombies aren't gonna see me in the in the second floor. So that's just perfect. Let's go ahead and store our bandages and our other stuff here. Okay. I think I might as well wash the other jacket that's bloody here. And then can I dry it with the towel I have? What if I put them in my main inventory? I'm actually going to just move everything to my main inventory real quick. There we go. Okay, so if I jack it. Hmm. I can't really do much with it right now. Hmm, they're not too dirty at the moment. I think that's fine. Fill the water bottle back up. Alright. I think over time the leather jacket will uh get better. So electrical wire, duct tape. Oh the dish towels I could have put away in there. Thread the rope. And the tire pump. I'll put the tire pump in here for now. Um yeah. How do I like Split. If I do that, does that? Nope, that just takes all of them away. Grab half. How about that? I don't want to weigh myself down with a bunch of that stuff, right? Okay, um. Smoke requires matches or lighter? Do I have matches? Everything's sorted alphabetically. I can just look under M. It is sort of by alphabetical, right? I'm not stupid. Okay. Well, I was going to smoke, but apparently I can't yet. So. I'll have some dish towels here. Oh, never mind. Well, give me that dish towel, and I'm going to move it into the bathroom so I have more room to put stuff into here. Okay. Dish towels go into here. Hmm. So this hand axe, I think I can use it to, like, open stuff. What is the one button for? Back? Hmm. If I had something on my back, like a weapon, I could open that up, huh? Okay. I guess for now, I'll just put the, the hand axe in here. And that should be everything that I'm currently carrying. Perfect. All right. I'm getting really depressed, though, so I think maybe what we'll do... Oop. Well, I think we'll end the episode here, everyone. Since we're nice, safe at home. And then next time when we come back, let's go back to this little area. We can search that house that we didn't search. We only searched that. We'll search... Um, that house, jump the fence, search these two areas, and hopefully that'll give us a saw or something. Or at least reveal a little more of the map so we can find some more colored locations that'll tell us, hey, there's, there's stuff here, right? So in the meantime, I am going to um, we're gonna place this down real quick right there. That's not where I wanted it. I can't even see it. I'd forget about it there. I'm going to place it right there. That way I remember it's there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take care of some of the depression and anxiety by reading some books that I have stored in here and uh, and all that good jazz. And when we come back, um, we'll probably be refreshed and it'll be in the morning so that we can start exploring that area up there. So until then, bye for now.